Let's take a look at School AI, a revolutionary platform that brings artificial intelligence to your students. It's a safe, secure environment in which you can provide students with customized chatbots to support their learning. There are also a myriad of other tools to help make your work more efficient and productive. The first thing I did here was launch my browser because School AI is fully web-based. And I visited the website at schoolai.com. Here on the landing page, you can look around to learn more about the product itself. And when you're ready, you can tap on the black free for teachers button to get started. You're going to be prompted to create a new account, which you can do with your Google login or any work or personal email address. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, you'll be brought to a quick questionnaire, which asks about what grades you teach, what topics, and what district you work in. Once you've filled that out, you'll be brought to your school AI dashboard, which looks like this. Here, you can launch a couple of quick activities, but we're not going to do that now. We're going to dig into some of the tools a bit. I'll begin up in the navigation bar by clicking on the tools link. Now, this is the most basic functionality of School AI. It provides a variety of different custom bots that will support you in any number of your day-to-day -day tasks as a teacher. These include lesson planning, syllabus creation, IEP goals, quizzes and vocabulary lists, worksheets, and more. Simply type in a prompt and the AI will generate content for you. Of course, it's all conversational, so you can ask it to tweak and adjust and edit your content as you go. This is a tremendous time saver and can help create efficiencies for teachers so they can focus on the more important task of teaching and learning. Where School AI really stands out, however, is in its spaces feature. What is a space? Well, you as a teacher with this platform can create customized chatbots that your students can use in a totally safe and secure environment around a particular task. The best way to understand this is to see one in action. So I'm going to jump over to the Discover tab where I can see spaces that have been built by either School AI or other teachers and you can use for yourself with your students. For example, if I scroll down and choose History Comes to Life, I see a whole bunch of spaces that allow you to chat and interact with different notable figures from history. So let's say we're studying the civil rights movement and we want to have a conversation with Dr. Martin Luther King. I can tap on this space and here I can preview what this bot will look like. If I'm interested in sharing it with students, all I need to do is tap on launch and share this link and this code with my classes. They can even scan the QR code to access it. Let's take a look at what this bot will look like for students. When students enter that link or scan that QR code, they'll see this page, which asks them to put in their name. It doesn't even have to be their real name. I'm going to go ahead and put in a name. And you'll see by clicking on the link, the code is already provided. I'm going to tap on join to join this space. And here we are. I'm in my custom bot where I can interact with Dr. Martin Luther King. I can ask all sorts of questions and get appropriate, relevant answers. In fact, in the creation of a space, you can control how much the bot helps the students, whether it gives them answers directly or poses questions back to them to help them think through a challenge. I'm gonna head back over to my school AI page. And you'll notice that in my dashboard as a teacher, I can see that I had one participant with this chat bot. I can see the name that they entered, and I have the ability to see anything that they added to the chat conversation. If I click on them, a window slides out that shows the entire conversation, so I can see the exact questions and prompts that were posted by the student. Additionally, I can copy the link to this student's chat, I can view it directly, and I can even pause this chat if there's something inappropriate or off task going on. Of course, if you were doing this with a whole class, you would see each of your students in this list and could monitor all of their chat conversations. Now, this was using a pre-made school AI space. But what if I want to create my own? Well, I just tap on create and then I could build my own custom school AI space. 
I'm going to click on the blue Create button, and we'll give it a title. Let's say we're learning all about igneous rocks. Now this is the key part, the prompt. This is where you're going to give the bot specific instructions on how they should interact with students. So I'm going to say something about what I want this bot to do. Okay, so here's the AI prompt that I entered. Answer questions that students pose about igneous rocks, volcanoes, and plate tectonics. Be supportive and patient. Do not provide direct answers, rather help students to understand the content by asking scaffolded questions. Focus on igneous rock formation and the characteristics of igneous rocks that help in identification. So that prompt essentially does what I want the bot to do. The more details you give here, the better. You can even enter details about the tone of voice or the language that's being used by the AI prompt. If I scroll down, I have the opportunity to add additional fields. And if I want to do this quickly, I can have AI generate all of these fields, including the description for teachers and students, the subtitle, and even the artwork. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then if I need to, I can edit it after the fact. Let's give it a moment. Okay, you can see that AI has generated my cover image, this nice art showing a volcano, as well as a relevant subtitle, a description for teachers and for students. Now our bot is essentially completed. I can preview it here over on the right-hand side by asking some simple questions and seeing what the answers are like. If I'm happy with it, I just tap save and launch. And that code comes up again. So let's open this chatbot and take a look. Okay, so I have joined my Igneous Rocks chatbot, and you can see that the bot is saying, welcome, let's explore the fascinating world of Igneous Rocks and the forces that shape our Earth, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and ask a question. How do Igneous Rocks form? You can see the AI responded, Igneous Rocks form from cooled magma or lava which is correct. When thinking about magma, what's the difference between magma and lava? So you can see, as I prompted it, the bot is posing questions back to the student. It's providing some information, but treating it as more of a conversation. And again, that all comes from the prompt. The more specific you are when you're writing the prompt for your space, the more responsive the bot will be. So let me go ahead and write a response to this. Magma is underground? Exactly. Magma is molten rock beneath the surface. When it erupts from a volcano and reaches the surface, it's called lava. How do you think the location where magma cools could affect the type of rock that forms? So let me give a typical student response. I don't know. And you'll see that the bot supportively responds, that's okay. Think about the environment below the Earth's surface compared to the open air. There, it's very hot and there's a lot of pressure, right? So magma cools slowly. What might happen? And so you can see that students can go back and forth and have a scaffolded conversation with this bot. They can move at their own pace and collect the knowledge that they need as they go. And this will ultimately create a more enduring understanding for students. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And what I'll see if I refresh my page is that my students chat is right here. And then if I click on it, I can see all of the details of the conversation. So this allows me to intercede in this student's work if I feel like it's off track or if the questions aren't uh, effective or moving in the correct direction. And of course, as I mentioned, you will see all of your participants here. And whenever you like, you can pause or end this session so that students can no longer engage with this particular space. This is a really powerful use of artificial intelligence in the classroom. It really allows the teachers to have control and monitoring over student work while allowing them to engage at their own pace in a personalized learning environment.